Hello everybody, I would like to present you the duo master thesis of Laurent Powers and myself, Irene Myers. Our study uh, was part of the doctoral study of Wendy Hens at the University of Antwerp. The title of our master thesis is the effect of a weight reduction program on ectopic fat accumulation, um, insulin sensitivity, and the parameters of the metabolic syndrome. When the caloric intake exceeds the needs, fat can be stored in two ways. Weight. It can either be stored as a more healthy subcutaneous fat or as ectopic fat in the abdomen, liver, um, muscles, and heart. The latter dysfunctional type can be associated with the development of the metabolic syndrome. Uh, 19 participants were included in our study and they were randomized in two groups. One group only received a hypocaloric diet and the other group receives both a hypocaloric diet and an um, uh, exercise program. Only 12 participants completed the whole six months of the intervention because it was still an ongoing study. The outcome parameters assessed were the ectopic fat, um, consisting of the intramucellular lipids, the intrahepatic lipids, and the visceral fat. Furthermore, the insulin sensitivity and the parameters of the metabolic syndrome were determined. Uh, similar results were found in uh, both intervention groups, um, which led to a trend to improve the metabolic, uh, the, well, the health-related parameters, as uh, mentioned before. Um, this could question the added value of the exercise program to the hypercaloric diet, but we would like to emphasize that it's still an ongoing study and that our results were based on a limited group. The most relevant uh, correlations for clinical practice uh, were the relation between visceral adipose tissue and waist circumference, as already uh, verified in um, previous research and the relation between the change in uh, insulin sensitivity and blood pressure, but this should be uh, further investigated. And thank you for your attention.